सिद्धेश सर यू आर होस्ट नाउ ओके सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सिद्धेश सिंह एंड पुनीत हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड यू टू he has told something about me so before uh, somp i was teaching uh, in different coaching centers lastly i was working as uh, assistant professor in akal university so what the session is mainly about phoenix now what is phoenix why we have named it and what is our plan what we intend to do in phoenix that is what we are going to talk about today so as you have as you can see that mainly it is that prelims to 2022 will not be like previous prelims it will be very much predictable for you and the way we have designed the course uh, it will make your life easier especially in prelims because of so much of uh, the, the kind of knowledge that is there in in the market so you have to reduce it okay now first of all let's talk about a general trend of upsc hai na so in 2016 cut off was 116 then 105 in 2017 in 2018 and 19 it was 98 and in 2020 it was 92.51 this is for general category so for other categories also it has reduced in the same proportion okay so what we can see is that in 2016 at the end of it geo came there was a geo revolution and the material the study material has continuously increased for upsc however you can see that the cutoff has continuously decreased what does that means that means is that even though there is a a lot of study material that is uh, that is available in the market it is not very much relevant for our exams and there are certain other reasons also for which cutoff has reduced one of that is over attempting now students are over attempting around 92 to 96 questions they are attempting every year in prelims now the issue is that most of the students they will cross the cut off however because of that over attempt because they have attempted a lot of questions again they will be pushed back beyond the cut offs and they will lose uh, their chance to write mains okay so this is one of the prime reason for uh, people not clear in prelims have seen have uh, seen interacted with a number of students and they have said sir we did a big mistake and the mainly why they do they over attempt because of tips and tricks that are present in market like people tell that if you if there is none if there is all you have to take it there, there are certain kind of quacks certain kind of tricks that are told to students that if you will follow those tricks you will easily clear prelims but however if you can see if you if you are seeing the cutoffs obviously it is not working okay so what this it means is that you have to just stop and you have to bring out a sanity in your preparation okay do not make it very tough prelims is not at all tough if you have a limited resources which you are following now phoenix why have we kept the name as phoenix simply we see that there are students who are writing their third or fourth attempt and they are not clearing prelims or there are freshers there are fresher students who are at loss who do not know ki what should be our pace kitne speed se padhe what should be our pace how much to study what to study so there is a dearth of guidance that is available in the market okay then there are certain students who are desperate to clear prelims they just want to clear prelims they are not at all concerned about mains although it is concerning but i understand their concern they just want to clear prelims so because of all that phoenix is a mythical word it dies hai na it dies when it is at its weakest when it is old when it is frail it dies and then it rises like a new bird new stronger bird okay so in the same way we also have to rise even if we have seen failure in our past attempts if we have not been able to clear prelims in the past attempt that does not matter now this attempt will be like your rise like a phoenix hai na similarly for fresher students you do not need to worry about what should be the pace of student what should be the general direction of student you do not have to uh, worry about that okay we are starting the batch from tomorrow 
and in the first two months so in january and february we will provide ample time for mains as well because we understand the concerns of students that we just do not want to focus on prelims we also want to focus on mains then we will also cater to those students who just want to focus on or focus on prelims and they are not at all concerned about the mains okay what is our mission vision vision is simple game changer okay how do we aim to achieve it see the model is simple as student want to prepare for upsc what will they do they will join a coaching class okay and they will attend their classes after the classes there will be no connection with teacher they will prepare on their own and then they will keep on failing it happens it is a kind of pattern that i have seen so our aim is not just to teach students yes we will be taking few classes but a comprehensive program what is comprehensive program simply if you are sitting and studying at your home so you should not feel that you are alone you should not feel that there is no one whom you should talk uh, if you want to talk to someone but you cannot talk to them and then there should be a guidance there should be a general guidance that is present with you and who are those guide your peers your mentors we are with you so even you have if you have attended the coaching classes if you have done your, your studies but still you do not have that architecture you do not have that framework of study you do not have the schedule you do not have the revision plan ki how i should follow this thing so for that we are here we will provide you every we will discuss i'll discuss what we are providing to you but in general our vision is that there should be a comprehensive structure suppose this is a structure and you have to be inside that structure. structure so if you are not wandering around you will be at the right path when when you will be at the right path obviously you will clear this exam okay because see our aim is that our students the students that are with us they should they should go in the exam center with smile in their face they should not have any fear and that will happen when they will believe that okay i have done my best whatever i could have done i have done that thing and then it will put a smile in you so because a lot of students they feel they face a lot of stress during the time of exams so we will be there also during the time of your stress also then also we will be there we will provide counseling to you as well now let's talk about the elements of program in phoenix what we will provide so first is mentorship this is the usp this is the core thing that we started with somp there is a lot of teaching available there is a lot of test series available but both these things lacks experience experience of uh, a candidates like us who have seen that what should a candidate do and especially what should a candidate should not do okay do and don't so this is not available to students they have general guidance they have teachers they will take the classes they will join the test series but they do not have someone to tell you ki how much to read what to read what to skip so we will be providing the mentorship to you okay mentorship is that we will allot one mentor to you who will continuously monitor your progress and who will continuously help you starting students i will personally mentor them and then as the students will increase more mentors will join them okay so in this thing we will provide one single mentor to students and they will continuously guide them they will tell them which book to study how much to study if they are feeling demotivated the mentor will motivate them okay they will conduct one to one one session with students they will provide a general direction that how much you have to study from where you have to study what you can skip and then they will also provide a motivation although the motivation will not be a fake one what is fake motivation you can clear this exam you can do anything in this world no no it will be a grounded motivation which will be long term it will not just be ki for one day you are motivated you are studying and then next day again you are down okay so these kind of things will keep the student disciplined okay if you are disciplined obviously half of your battle is won and we will ensure that our students are disciplined see mentorship na it is a itself a topic and after this session is, uh, is will be over when i am done with that punit sir will explain more about what our vision of mentorship is so that is the first thing we will provide now second is high yielding classes these will be game changing classes what why because these were the classes that i always thought that i that someone should teach such kind of things to me so that my time is saved see what happens is that students no matter if you are writing first attempt or you are writing last attempt there is always a paucity of time okay so our focus in high yielding classes is that there are 
core areas and then there are ancillary areas and now the core areas students will have to study by themselves no teacher in this world can help you in this some core areas are like quality you have to study lakshmi kant in modern history you have to study spectrum there is no shortcut to it no one there is no easy way out of it okay and we want that our students should have 90% accuracy when they are reading lakshmi kant or spectrum or uh, uh, some other books also which i will discuss about later so these are some of the core areas which students needs to focus now what happens is when you are reading lakshmi kant you do not have time to study ncrts of 11th there is one indian constitution at work and the other is political theory okay i'm just giving you an example so what we will do is we will study those books for you and then we will turn those book into exam relevance like we will cover all the topics associated with those things that is that are present in ncrt and then we will take classes one or one one or two hour classes and then along with pdf we will cover those things for you apart from that similarly geography geography itself is a highly diverse area three to five questions are asked every year and if you know how to read it you can easily score good marks in that so geography we will be covering we will cover your whole geography syllabus okay okay how how to read what to read what not to read and then we will provide pdf for you similarly environment so there are different topics so for that we will take high yielding classes what is high yielding classes it will be very much exam relevant it will be based on exams and then because we have done all the hard work we have searched internet we have searched everything and then we have provided a note so there is ncrt and then we have searched a lot of things related to those things okay so that, that it will cover your ancillary portion so that when you are reading core portion you have sufficient time to revise it and your teachers are taking care of the ancillary part of those things okay so these will be high yielding classes and we will provide pdf for that and it will i can guarantee you that it will fetch 5 to 10 marks more if you have if you have consistently followed all the classes and if you have revised the pdfs that will be good, that we are providing then you will get good marks in your exams okay these will be crisp revision notes so mentorship high yielding classes then third is previous year questions obviously if upsc is a ocean then always consider that previous year questions are your lighthouse because we do not know the syllabus of upsc what they will last but at least these previous year questions they guide us so this and the next program that we are starting this we will start from march because we do not want to burden students a lot with lot of pdfs and lot of classes in that we will cover previous year questions if you have seen upsc prelims 2021 paper or 2020 paper or 2019 paper you can see that around five questions so five questions is around 10 marks hai na 10 marks of questions you can easily answer if you have covered previous year questions and you have learn something out of it that learning is called branching out suppose if there is a question on say camels there is a question on camels then do not just read camels also read something about where they are found what kind of geography they are found what kind of plants do they eat so if you have read something related to it one the way or another they will ask some question related to it for example palm palm oil now palm was in question in 2018 also 2019 also and then 2021 they have again asked about palm oil so if you have done your homework it is easy that you could have answered it in 2021 then there was one direct question on uh, your m0 m1 concept of uh, your banking and in economics so it was a direct question from 2020 and then again they have repeated it in uh, 2021 okay the question was about money multiplier so we will be covering previous year questions and with branching out so we will be providing handouts to you we will be providing notes to you so you have comprehensively covered your previous year questions of upsc okay now the next is thematic current affairs see current affairs is one thing where students waste lot of their time they will tell us that they have read the uh, content of xyz coaching they have done content of three coachings four coaching and still they did not clear exam the reason being that current affairs is such a vast topic that you just cannot cover it no matter how much you will read your current affairs will never be over no matter how much you do the hard work okay so for that first thing that you have to do and no teacher can and uh, no coaching material anything can supplement it that is you will have to read newspapers regularly 
always it is recommended and especially if you're reading the hindu it is a very good newspaper so that you have to read and then you have to branch out questions out of it you have to question that okay what kind of questions can i uh, can be asked from these topics so apart from newspaper what we are going to do is we are going to take your thematic current affairs now what is thematic current affairs it is one of our original idea see i as i always told you that general current affair cannot be uh, cannot be covered huh? but there is always an element of luck for example there was one question on lemon grass this year so obviously you can never predict such kind of questions however there are certain themes which upsc always asks question last year also there was one uh, one question on elections then there is one question uh, one or two question it, it is always related to schedule one animals okay so these are the things that upsc always asks so these things you can cover from thematic current affairs we will make a list of 60 to 70 of such themes and we will take classes and we will be providing uh, pdfs to you as well these classes it will cover your general current affair of last five to six years okay so there will be classes of thematic current affairs and we will be providing handouts as well then fifth is SOMP test series. You will be provided 30 high quality tests. These tests will not be over easy or over tough. Okay. We just do not want to, we will make such a tough question paper that you will score 50 marks in every test and we will feel good about ourselves that we are making such a test, tough question paper. No, it will just be to assess how you are performing in a medium level paper. Okay, if a question if a question paper is medium level, that is, that is the best way to assess yourself, whether you are scoring good or bad. You, you will have peer, you will have your own peer groups, your uh, the students who have joined, joined the program, and then you can compare your ranking with those people, okay? And your these test series, they will complement your classes and your mentorship, whatever the classes we are providing, the high yield classes, the thematic current affair classes. So it will complement those classes and then in the general mentorship of SOMP, okay? the uh, These test series, they will not just provide explanations like, Obviously, we intend to provide explanations, but we'll, we'll also provide a general direction to you. Like, why did we ask this question? And what what, what do we expect? Like, when you're studying those questions, what do we expect? How you should have studied those areas? So, it will provide general explanation and direction as well. So, these regular tests will help you in assessing your level of preparation. Okay, next is rapid revision plan. So, this is part of our mentorship. Students study, but they do not revise. Most of the students, they tell us, Ki, sir, one of the problems that we did not clear prelims was because we did not focus enough on revision, okay? So it is a fact that revision is key to success, okay? So in this program, we will be providing revision sheets to every student. These revision sheets uh, will not be very tough in the starting month. So in January and February, you will be provided ample of time for revision, but it will become very tough by the time exams are coming. So you will have to regularly revise. Okay. So these revision sheets will have to fill. You have to tick whether whatever we will tell you, you will have to tick whether you have finished it or not. And then you will have to share it with your mentors. So it will bring a kind of accountability in your preparation. You, you will be accountable to your mentor. To, okay, sir, if I'm revising or not, the revision sheets will come with revision schedule we will provide how you have to revise and how much time we will be providing for you to revise okay now the next point is speed reading session now what is it it is especially important for new candidates who are fresher and those who are working so these two people especially the new candidates they do not understand the pace with which we have to study okay some students they will study for example lakshmi khan they will study it for one month and they are just reading Lakshmi Khan. So we do not have that time. Time is a luxury that we cannot afford, okay? So we will be conducting three special sessions. And these sessions will be that you learn from our experience because speed reading is a skill. It is an art, okay? And you have to have certain skills if you want to clear UPSC. So we will, uh, we will be telling you that how you can increase your speed, how you quickly you can study, skim through long tests, and then focus on what to read, okay? Because a lot of text you have to read when you are studying about UPSC. So it will almost increase your reading speed by two to three times. Like you will be reading two to three times faster, okay? So it will especially help those students who say, Ki, sir, our reading speed is very slow. So it will help those students. There will be 
three sessions now eight is zoom sessions with students it is a highly democratic idea that we have got so it will it is made entirely for students so from time to time it will be weekly or in 10 days we intend to create a zoom session just like this one and then we will discuss about the general queries and problems that the students are facing or in general if they want to discuss something or they have some story to tell okay so these classes will be to reduce stress and to motivate the students okay so the idea of such classes is to form a community there is a community so that students who are studying alone or who are studying in library they should not feel at loss they should not feel that they are alone there is always a peer group with them they will always think okay after 10 days i have a zoom session and i will discuss my problems my issues or anything that i faced with my peers with my mentors so the idea of phoenix is also to create a community so that students do not feel at loss they do not feel alone okay then apart from all those things we have prepared prelims notes for major uh, topics of upsc prelims okay they comprehensively cover almost all the things like for example ancient history or medieval history so these notes will be provided to you free of cost and these road notes will be in addition to the pdfs of high yielding classes plus your thematic current affair classes and your branching out series or previous year questions okay so these pdfs we will provide you apart from that the prelims notes of somp plus your test series so these are the materials that we will be providing you this is highly relevant material and is good enough to qualify prelims you do not have to go anywhere else if you are rigorously following these uh, notes that we are providing and you are doing good in your tests okay so in the end as i have stated that our vision is to provide a comprehensive atmosphere to students not just that we are providing classes which we are providing which are we are also providing mentorship to you we are also providing tests so that you can regularly assess your progress and then they, these are not oh, we are we are not giving you hundreds of tests i have seen students who, who have given 100 tests and still they did not clear the prelims okay because see for prelims you do not you do not have to give so much of tests it used to work in 2015 and 16 but now it does not work 30 good quality tests of any test series are good enough you are good to go if you cannot assess yourself in 30 tests you cannot assess yourself in 90 tests also you know? so just be mindful when you are preparing for upsc and when you are pre preparing for these things so i will conclude my session here okay so this this is the this is the main uh, points that i wanted to uh, uh, to you know share with all of you i hope i, I hope i have cleared my points and uh, i hope that you have understood the vision that we have made for uh, somp batch uh, especially phoenix 2022 batch i hope i will pass it to now puneet and he will discuss a few things about mentorship also uh, guys if you have any doubts you can ask Hi, sir. Hi. Hello. Hanji. Uh, yes, sir, I have a doubt um, regarding what you said initially in the session about over attention. So, uh, I have, uh, so in one prelims, I could not hear because I was very, 